Welcome to the last episode of the year of Late Night. Welcome. So, uh, how many of you live on campus? Lots of people live on campus here? So, uh, if you live in Tanglestad, you're familiar that Tanglestad residents have had a rough time this month. They've had a lot to deal with. They've had their elevator break, they've had flooding, and they've had a fire in their residence hall. Like what you hear? You too can live in these rooms for the low, low price of $50,000. <laughs> Textbooks not included. <laughs> According to the Tacoma News Tribune, a woman was charged with grand theft after peeling the barcode stickers off of clearance items and then sticking them onto the barcodes of very, very expensive items. <laughs> she paid a total of $370 for $1,800 worth of electronics. <laughs> yeah. When asked why she did it, she said her husband bought her a coach purse and she wanted to get him something nice in return. Because nothing says Merry Christmas like bailing your wife out of jail. <laughs> the husband must have been pretty mad when he spent all that money on a coach purse when all she really wanted was a sticker book. <laughs> In Bellevue, there was a jaywalker that hit oncoming traffic. And I worded it that way because this was not your everyday jaywalking incidents. Check this out. So the video come up here. All right. The video's not up here. Uh, well, let's just go on to the next joke and see if we can come back to it. How does that sound? So, uh, how many of you have seen the new Justice League movie? So, uh, Henry Cavill, who played Superman, was contractually obligated for a different film to keep his mustache during the filming of Justice League. It cost them millions of dollars to digitally edit out his mustache frame for frame. And they talked about leaving the mustache on and giving Superman a new look. But I think we can all agree that would have been pretty creepy. <laughs> yeah, if that's the look they were going for, yeah. If that's the look they were going for, they could have just cast Kevin Spacey. Oh. <laughs> On a different note, <laughs> how many of you voted in your local elections this month? And who did? <laughs> so this is pretty cute. Uh, this ballot was sent to the Pierce County Auditor's Office. Check this out. Do we have this popping up? So isn't that adorable? Yeah. And I have to wonder, what are the qualifications that you need to be voted best mommy? Based upon our president, she probably doesn't need to have children. <laughs> and then if we notice how the handwriting is all cute and bad, but on the inside, uh, it says, votes for mommy, yes or no. But if you look at it, votes for mommy, the handwriting looks suspiciously good. If there was meddling in this mommy election, at least we know we, they took their time. So we know that, so this time we know they weren't rushing. <laughs> ah, that was my favorite joke. Thank you. Thank you for humoring me. Alright, so I'm not sure if you heard, but Hidden Valley Ranch came out with new options for ranch lovers. Yeah, you can now buy an entire keg of ranch dressing. Yeah, you know they say ranch makes everything better. I guess that means booze too. Uh, they also came out with a new clothing line, which I think is long overdue. Because what better name for an underwear line than Hidden Valley? <laughs> A UPS driver in Clackamas County heard cries of help coming from inside the house he was delivering a package at. The police arrived and discovered that it was a pet parrot named Diego that was yelling help. Yeah. According to the owner, when she leaves the room, Diego will often yell help so that she will come back and give him attention. And we want to know, where did Bird learn this in the first place? Was he auditioning for Life Alert? What was going on there? Something seems familiar about a bird and people saying whatever it takes to get attention, what could it be? Oh, that's Twitter! That's right! <laughs> oh, thank you, thank you, Diego. Finally, that logo makes sense to me. Uh, All right, we have a great show for you tonight. We got Plutonica and Hermana coming on. We'll be right back.